I've been grading papers all day and I wanted to show you how to create macros in Word 2007 because what I've done is created a grading toolbar. So I'm going to show you how to do that using this handout that I got from my buddy Karen Gurney at SMCC. So the first thing that you want to do is click on your button here in Windows or Word and scroll down to where it says Word Options and then make sure that you have the Show Developers tab in the ribbon checked. And once you have that done, then you just hit uh, OK. And now you'll have this Developers button up here that you can use. Alright, so to create your toolbar, and as you can see up here, this is my toolbar. I have this is my icon for spelling, this is a run-on sentence, and this is uh, for comma splice. So I'm going to show you how to create another button for this toolbar and then I'll show you how it works. So the first thing that you want to do is click record macro and then name your macro. So I'm going to create one for um, a sentence fragment. I'm just going to say frag and then in the description I want to write out the word so I'll know what it is, fragment. And then I want to click assign to a button and then once it's done it brings up this, but this uh, menu and I'll click on this. This is my frag. and I'm going to add it to my toolbar over here. And then I want to modify it. So I highlight it and then modify. I'm going to try to come up with something that I would remember rep represents a fragment. And that's a hard one. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick something. Uh, I'm going to click the, uh, the eyeglasses there. And then I want to make sure that I erase all of this information. So that just says frag, and then I say OK. Okay, and then once I'm done, I say OK. And now I have the eyeglasses up here for the frag. Now you can see that my cursor has a um, tape recorder, tape cassette attached to it, and at this point I could um, create a macros. Now there's two things you have to remember. If you just want to be able to put the cursor on the page somewhere, um, you or to highlight a section like you can see this has been highlighted you have to do that before you actually create the macro so I'm gonna go ahead and stop this and this time I'm going to highlight a word or let's do a sentence because it's supposed to be a fragment we'll just pretend that's a fragment and now I'm going to record macros and do the same thing that I did before type in you want to replace, I'm going to say yes. And then I'm going to do the same thing that I did before, add it, modify it, choose, I don't know what I want to be, fragment. I should just choose the same thing. Okay, and then frag. And then say okay. Okay, I'm going to remove that one just so it's not confusing. And then I'm going to say okay. Alright, so now that I have my sentence highlighted, I can go ahead and finish recording my macro. So the little cassette player is showing you that you're ready to record. So I'm going to go to the review tab, hit comment, type in the words sentence fragment, and I'm going to go back to the developers tab, click stop recording, and now I have my macro developed. So let's go ahead and re erase this one. And now all I have to do is take a sentence, highlight it, and if I want to tell the student that that's a fragment, I just hit this button and it automatically creates that comment for me. So you can imagine that if you're writing more detailed comments like what page you could say chapter 72 pages 721 723 and then a student will know that to get information on fragments, sentence fragments they can go to this chapter. So I would have to write all that in the macro as I was creating it. So that's how you create macros in Word 2007. And then as you add more to your toolbar, this becomes your grading toolbar. And you can quickly grade papers a lot faster than you would if you're, you're having to write these out each time. OK, so I hope that was helpful. OK, but before I go, I want to share with you a uh, toolbar that I was able to download off of the Microsoft Word website and it's called annotate and here you can see that 
it's essentially the same thing that I'm creating with my grading toolbar, but instead I can uh, highlight things, or and then I can click, say that there's awkward, and I click on that, and they have built in already lots of different comments that you can make for students uh, without you having to create them. So here you can see the comments, can you revise this to make it less awkward, and then it even gives them a URL to the owl at Purdue that they can get more information for. So unless you actually buy all of this, I think they have an, a pro version, only some of the comments work. So you can talk about um, strike or uh, support, summary, analysis, ev evidence, positives, introduction, conclusion, uh, paragraphing. So if you want to make general comments about that, you can do so with this annotate toolbar. Okay, so I have a handout. If you need it, let me know.